I have finished packing up, y'all. So, I'm going to just show y'all what everything's looking like. And basically, about to go ahead and put everything on the U-Haul and head to the other place. So, this is the finished product. Oh, 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 oh. Merry Christmas. How you doing? What's up? It's your girl Ajane with a capital I, and today your girl's back with another, with another video. Yes, and in today's video, y'all, I'm just packing. So, y'all, I'm moving out of my little apartment into a house. It's also not so big, but into a house. And basically, I found this house within a week's time. I found the house, got the house. And now I gotta move in. So y'all, I ain't got no boxes or nothing. But I'm about to just go ahead, show y'all an easy, simple way to pack and a fast way to pack. Cause I'm not about to pack, I'm not about to fold nothing. None of that. So we about to just go ahead and get straight into it. But before I get into this video, you already know, like this video. Give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and make sure you hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any more new videos. Cause you don't want to miss out on any more new videos. Now let's get it. Alright now y'all, can y'all see me? I think y'all can see me. But, okay, so anyways y'all, I'm about to go ahead and tackle this area first. We're going to start off in the kitchen. Then we're going to do the dishes. But, yeah, let's get started. Well, a lot of this food and stuff, I'm honestly going in the garbage because, I don't know. A lot of this stuff, I'm probably not going to eat, so. Alrighty, so your girl decided to do um, a little story time, too. Um, you know, talk about what led up to the me moving or, you know, weeks prior to me moving, you know, stuff like that. Just life, you know, and an update for you guys. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and start off in this kitchen, though. I always start off in the kitchen because that just seems like that's where most of the stuff is. But, y'all, I am packing and moving out of this apartment, y'all. I'm literally packing and moving out of this apartment. I've been in here for about two years and... I do need more space, of course, with my daughter, and also I separated with, you know, my baby daddy or whatever, so I need a new scenery, just trying to heal properly and as fast as I can, because I ain't got time to be sitting up there moping and crying and just down, and of course, I'm still, you know, have my days or whatever, but it is what it is, I'm just trying to be fully, like, fully the fuck healed, you know, because I, I ain't got time for it, ain't nobody got time to be in their fucking feelings. Ain't nobody got time for that shit. That feeling shit, that shit is dead. I'm never going to be in my feelings ever again. I promise you all that. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. Because it's always one person that, that love the most. And that person always get hurt. So, that shit bold as hell. So, now it's my turn to play. But, anyways, like I said, we starting off in this kitchen. And, yeah, we moving about this bitch. Also, I have a new place. I will be showing y'all that new place or, you know, showing y'all a house tour once I get everything situated. I have been in the new place for about a month. And I got the whole upstairs together. I'm just basically waiting on refrigerator and stove. And um, I'm going to do my basement last. So, but I will give y'all a tour. Y'all already know that. I really love it. It's enough space for me and my baby. And it's just perfect. She loves, she got her own room, I got my own room. She still sleep with me though for now, but we gonna get her trained to sleep in her room by herself. But yeah, y'all. But, oh, and back to this packing shit. I don't have no boxes, I don't have no 
or what's that newspaper i don't have none of that i'm doing it the ratchet and get away i'm just throwing everything right into a duffel bag or not a duffel bag a, um what you call it a black hefty bag and just wrapping it up with like um a towel and rags and stuff so the glass don't break but other than that better be careful oh well I ain't have time, y'all. I literally didn't have time to get no boxes. I didn't have time to get, like, um, what, uh, like, boxes for closets or get any newspaper to wrap the glasses. I didn't have time to do none of that at all, y'all. I literally got into a whole little life situation with life where I was in a chokehold. Like, you know, life really was life -ish. you know, really life in the bitch, you know, but whatever. And then I found the place. In the midst of it, and within a week, I was basically moving. Like, I was verified, like, you got this, this your place, and you can move within, like, three days. And I moved in without, within, you know, a couple days later. So, really, was, like, a week time that I, you know, found the house and got into the house. So, that was a blessing, of course, a blessing in disguise, and I was so amazing. And, I, like I said, I love this house, but... I ain't had no time to get prepared, y'all. I literally, and then plus I work. I'm a mom, so I just, it was just so much. It was really a lot. But I still got the house, y'all. And I was really going through shit, y'all, in the midst of getting the house. So it was like, life was life in, but it also was, you know, blessing me at the same time. So I was actually happy and excited for that. Excited for a new change, a new atmosphere, you know. It was time. That's all I can say. Because I ain't trying to say too much, but I'm trying to, you know, keep you all in the loop as well. shit was dead i ain't gonna lie to y'all i also worked at seven got off at well worked until seven got off at probably like 7 30 this day and i ain't get done packets probably like four o'clock in the morning then i had to be up by like nine just to get everybody you know in place and get the u-haul and all that stuff but yeah yeah it was a lot but Just an update for y'all as of how things are going now. It's going smooth. I'm still healing or whatever. Still, you know, trying to not think about the past and trying to not think about, you know, how somebody hurt me and trying to just get over that, trying to heal, trying to be a, a better person, trying not even have hatred in my heart towards that person at all. You know what I mean? Like, trying to just be all around peaceful. Like, 
Because at first, I always wanted to be somebody karma. You know, people be like, you, you know, you ain't got to... You ain't gotta do nothing to nobody. Just let karma handle your situation or whatever. But I always want to be somebody karma. But I do have to learn to just chill sometimes, and it's okay. Just live your life and do what make you happy, and you will be good. Cause karma is a bitch, and she will, you know, get a nigga. Okay, it is what it is. People gonna do what they wanna do. People gonna feel how they wanna feel. People going to never change. It just, it is what it is. But you live and you learn. Most definitely. You definitely live and you learn. Because one thing about it, I only got to learn once. And this is my first relationship. And probably going to be my last for a while. I promise y'all that. But, man. And I only needed one relationship to learn what not to ever do again. <laughs> promise you that. I was a real given and like. I was a good person, just I'm gonna just say that, but sometimes you gotta like just let somebody else love you more. And at first, that's crazy because I thought that that's the person did love me more, but because they even said I love you first. But y'all, you know, people will change, and just it's just crazy. It's crazy. So. As y'all can see, I am literally using these duffel bags, and I'm putting everything in here. I mean everything, and I'm not even labeling nothing, so it is what it is. Like I said, I figured it out once I got to the new place. Of course, I've been moved a long time ago, probably like a month ago, but I just had to just clear my mind and, you know, get back to me. Y'all, I'm slowly getting back to me. Slowly but surely getting back the fuck to me. So, yeah. And... I feel like I'm doing really well, especially with having to take care of, you know, like, someone else, you know what I mean, as, like, being a mother and still trying to, like, overcome things. It's it's hard, but your girl got this. You know, they say whatever don't kill you make you stronger, ain't that right? So, heck yeah, I'm just over it all. I just want to be, like, happy and just living life, you know, that love stuff, that don't take a lot out of, out of a person, for sure, especially when it's not equal, and I'm just keeping it on it, I think that's just how I personally feel. y'all that's another story for another time if y'all want to like hear you know about all of that a little later or i don't know i might do a video about my relationship and 
how it went from up to down, up to down, 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 down. You know, before the new year, just to get it, everything off my chest, because I ain't got time for no more questions. Or I probably just, just won't even talk about it at all. Just, you know, like I said, be free up of it all. Have a clear mind. Not think about the people from the past, the things from the past. Check it up. Bury it. Burn it. Might just write it down. Oh, I might just do that. Just write it down and do like a video showing me burning paper or, you know, just let everything go. Because it's not okay to hold things in, y'all. It is not okay. Because it don't do nothing but just add like baggage and weight onto you. And you don't do nothing but just transfer that to the next person and think that that's okay. And that's not okay either. So, I don't want no baggage. I don't want no, no bad vibes. I just, you know, just want to start off fresh, clear, just all of that. New future at this point, because now I ain't got to worry about the past. So, but yeah, y'all, that's what I'm trying to do. Trying to focus on just moving forward with life and staying positive and just staying focused with, you know, shit I get myself into. your girl is single y'all i see that man there's so many men out here y'all so ladies don't be tripping over just one that ain't treating you right okay it's better off being single and happy than with somebody and sad okay that's what i learned also y'all something else that i learned like through this healing process or through this journey i just learned that it's okay to express things that's going on or express how you feel or express things that make you feel uncomfortable or that give you anxiety or that you're not okay with. It's okay to talk, express, let it all out. Don't hold shit in. Because when you hold shit in, or sorry, let me stop cussing. When you hold stuff in, it really just make things worse and that's when you explode. And then everybody looking at you like, what the hell is wrong with this person? Because you done exploded because you done held so much stuff in. So, it's okay to talk to somebody, at least one person, even if it's just yourself. Talk to yourself. Write it down. Okay? Oh, her hair looking crazy, but I have finished packing up, y'all. So, I'm going to just show y'all what everything's looking like. And basically, about to go ahead and put everything on the U-Haul and head to the other place. So, this is the finished product or whatever. Got everything in the bag. Yes. Cabinet's empty. Yo, oh my gosh. I did not know I had this much stuff. Yo. Oh. Well, everything in Dior. We out of this bitch. Yo, listen. It's an echo, echo, echo. But yes, y'all, we are leaving from out of here. Period. This is my room, y'all. Yes. Y'all remember what my room looked like, so. But. 
Anyways, y'all, this will be the end of this video. So, go ahead and like this video. Get this video a thumbs up. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. And make sure you hit that notification bell. So, you don't miss out on any more new videos. And see y'all at the new house. Love y'all. Bye.